Australia. Oh man, we're the shooting stuff Australia. And uh, what do we got today, eh? Today we've got the um, Uzcon LA887. Uh, another Turkish uh, lever action. Yep. Uh, this one, um, again, was um, generously lent to us by Pro Tactical. Yep. Um, these are, again, a shotgun that's in competition with the Adler okay. and the Pardis. Um, there's a few of them starting to hit the market now. There's a big demand for these. Um, something that's been lacking in the Australian, well not lacking, you've always been able to get the 87s. Yeah. Um, and these are just a slightly more updated version of that, I guess. Yeah. Um, this one feels extremely lightweight and quite well put together. Yep. Yeah. i got to admit. Um, the way this one works, um, this is what sets this one apart from the um, Pardis and the Adler. Same basic function, lever. Open, close, squeeze trigger, goes bang. Um, but this one, you'll notice there's no metal bar off the back of the lever that drags the bolt backwards. Um, on the Adler, that is on one side at the back of the lever, which results in that two-stage felt yeah. throw. It does feel a bit funny on the Adler. Yeah. And on the Pardis, it's at the back, but it's in the middle of the bolt. So it pulls a bit more evenly and eliminates that two-stage feel. The Oozcon, if you look there, underneath, there's two little bars that go directly on the middle on either side of the bolt. So a far less effort is required to cycle the, um, the action. Yeah. There so, is. And it's a, it's, a big, um, it's a big lever loop as well. It's quite yeah. generously sized. So if you're down on the ducks in the cold weather, and you can wear gloves and still that'll still function quite well. Yeah, it's um yeah the finish seems seems alright for uh, the money. Yeah, these it's, go, it's, these it's sub one thousand dollars. Yeah, about eight about eight and a half, isn't it? Yeah, I think something it's eight like or nine hundred bucks, something yeah. like that. Um, yeah. it's Turkish walnut. It is quite light. It's extremely um, light. Yeah. yeah, it's that probably I think gonna translate into more felt recoil. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um we'll have to wait and see. Um, Just, just your standard front bead yep, sight. No, nothing on the rear. Um, ventilated rib. This is a 28 inch barrel. It is friggin' big. It doesn't even quite fit in the gun bag. Uh, um, you need an extra big gun bag for it. Um, a 10 round extension tube would be pretty awesome on this, I think. Uh, well, um, Ignition, they make, um, they make a, a, another five round extension for this. Yeah, so that would be a pretty handy thing to have. Yeah, yep. Um, but it's... Um, things I like about it is it's, it's definitely light. I did notice before just having a bit of a play around the loading gate has a tendency to just pinch your thumb. Oh yeah we got both got, <laughs> we both got caught. Good. Yeah you got, you got a finger stuck in there, I got my thumb stuck in there so it, it's got a tendency to pinch. Yeah. Um, the lever is bolted instead of being one piece it's three pieces and it's got these um, pins that pin it together. Now you might look at that as a problem um, because you've got stress points there that could break. I look at it as because less force is required to operate the lever that it's not going to be an issue. I'll just um, check these every now and then to make sure they're not coming loose, maybe blue lock tight it. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, but I, I can't see it really being a drama. Um, when I first picked it up, I, I sort of was a bit concerned, but having felt the way how easy that lever is to manipulate um, I can't see it being a problem because unlike the um, the Pardis and the Adler which you've really got to hit hard to get it to cycle reliably um, this one is much much lighter. Oh it just glides, it really just glides. Yeah. It does feel nice in the hand, it, um, it is extremely light for the size of the gun it is a light gun and that's the only, as you said, the only problem I, I think we could have because uh, Mm. Not going to soak up any recoil whatsoever. These to me would be ideal if you, again, it's in that, it's in that sub one thousand dollar shotgun range. So it's not a top of the range shotgun. You are getting what you pay for. Um, but I think with this, just looking at it so far, having not shot it, I think it's reasonable for the money. Yeah, definitely. It, it's on. It's certainly on par with the other offerings on the market. They're all made yeah. in Turkey. Um, I, I think it's all right for what, what you're paying for it. Yeah, and that's what I like about these. You're not going to go get an 1887 for two grand and bush bash with them, throw it around in the back of the ute. With these, you don't mind. Mm. Even like your, your favourite clay gun, your, your double gun, you don't really want that out in no. the swamp chasing ducks. 
buy a cheap thing like this, doesn't matter, you know, you can yeah. abuse it, you, you're not going to be heartbroken if you get chips and scratches and things like that on it. And usually with all these lever action shotguns, what you're pointing at um, drops. Yeah, so. I mean 12 gauge is 12 gauge, yeah. it doesn't matter whether it's coming out of a, a $5,000 barrel or a $900 barrel, the shot all does the same thing. Exactly, exactly. So, I'm but sure yeah. that people say it doesn't, but... <laughs> yeah. and, um, as for the quality, yeah, it seems seems not too bad put yeah. together. Fit, fit and finish isn't brilliant, like yeah. it doesn't marry up perfectly, but... Yeah, yeah but uh, for a, just a scrub gun, you don't really care about that sort of stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't, because yeah. it's going to get knocked around and um, and dinged up pretty fast. So we did get the longer barreled one. They do come in a 20 inch barrel as well. Um, so if you want something scrubby for pigs or whatever, you could use that. This one's sort of, we thought we'd get a longer barreled one off of um, Pro Tactical to test out. See how it goes on the clays. Yeah, she's um, only got the short barrels in the other two. Yeah, seeing as you're not allowed to wing shoot in um, Queensland, um, we'll test out some clays and see if we get a bit of an estimate how to be on the ducks for um, you shooters down there in those southern states that are lucky enough to have yeah. a duck season. I have heard slugs go through this quite nicely. Yeah, so. And are pretty accurate through it, from what I've heard. Yeah, so. Yeah. I think it's alright, Shotty, for the money, I reckon. Um, we test it out. It does yeah. have the three inch chamber as well, um, so it'd be interesting. I think we've got some three inch shells there. Yep. We'll um, we'll see how she handles. Yep. And this also just comes with one choke, doesn't uh, it? No, this one does come, no? the 28 inch version of this does come with a full set of chokes. Uh, well, it comes with four chokes. Yep. Um, don't ask me to explain the differences, I just know them as little chokes and big chokes. I'm not yeah. a big shot gunner. Um, we've got the one in here that will shoot slugs and buckshot, which I think is the the skeet choke. I've yeah. got the skeet choke in it. Um, so let's test her out and see yeah. how it goes. Cool. Thanks shooters. Thanks. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright. Um, pretty good accuracy out of this thing. Uh, with the longer barrel obviously it's probably best intended use will be wing shooting. So um, let's have a go at some clays. Okay. Pull. 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 We've got one left. Pull. Oh, one miss. That's not bad at all. Um, let's load her up again with another six. Might try some doubles. It really does want to grab your thumb when you load. I've noticed you. Once you develop a technique, it won't get you, but. Okay, let's try some doubles this time. Big throws, Aaron. Pull! I reckon I nicked the first one. <laughs> Pull! Pull! Got the second one. Yeah, I think um, I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah. And obviously not as quick as a um, double barrel. Um, but, um, you know, actually it would be an interesting thing. You need a big throw on it would be three clays, three shots. Yeah. You've got the time if they're in the air to do it. That's true. I'll throw if you want to shoot. Yeah, give it a go. There we go. <laughs> Let's try again. It's actually hard to throw three as well. I'll try and get them in line with the camera here. Okay, pull. Well, technically, you can get the shots away while they're in the air. Yeah, if we brought the clay thrower out, we could have uh, got them a lot higher. I see how I go. Might make this the one. Oh. Alright, so someone who shoots a lot of clays would probably have a bit more luck than us, but yeah. I think oh. Pretty impressive. Actually, quite impressed with it. <laughs> Let's All see right, what else um, we got. 
I, I didn't want to like this one that much, but this is actually a fair bit of fun to shoot. What else? All right, let's try it with some AAA. Pull! That's more like Whoa, a... Ho, ho. That's the cucumber explosion we were looking for. Yeah, take that, you vegan bastards. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's it. It's rain and vegetable. Oh! Oh, it wasn't as impressive. One more. See if we can get covered in veggies. Oh! <laughs> oh, I got cucumber on me. <laughs> That is good. That was fun. Oh, cool. Not to worry. You want to try those triple A's? Yeah. Yep. Well, a gas came out of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good gas cloud. Yep. Okay, we're just using a 36 gram AAA shot. Um, we've just got a mutant uh, watermelon here. Something tells me this watermelon's going to go off with a bigger bang than your average watermelon. Oh, yeah. Boy, it had a kick to it. <laughs> okay, we've got our Uzcon here. Um, we've got our steel target downrange there at 25 metres. And we've got some one ounce solid slugs. One thing I will say about the Uzcon is it, it's probably not as smooth to load. Um, as the Adler of the Pardis, it does, the loading gate wants to pinch your thumb a little bit. Other than that, no real concerns. Um, our steel target's grown a meaty head. Let's see if we can shoot it off. Headshot. Let's try for all headshots. Is this a 12 gauge or a 308? <laughs> that was really accurate. I'm quite surprised. One, two, three, four, five. At a distance of 25 meters. That's still good. Nice. Not a good melon, actually. A little bit gunpowdery, but still good. Mmm, good. Okay, just got some nine pallet double O buckshot uh, from a couple of targets down here.
kind of double O didn't uh, penetrate the uh, fire extinguisher down there, so we've got a couple of um, three inch double O uh, buckshot here, and uh, we'll see what these can do. Good old Magnum rounds. Oh yeah, you definitely feel the weight difference just holding them. It's, uh, like small artillery shells. But unlike, nah, unlike a couple of other guns, they don't take um, five of them. Alrighty. Get ready to feel the burn. That's nothing. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Sounds like I'm shooting bird shot. <laughs> I'll do one more. Go on a moving target. Ready? Yep. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Handles oh, of three inch handle. magnums okay, eh? Yeah, that's good. How a bunch of this with a prick. Uh, mate, what do you reckon of the Eastcon? I liked it. It was smooth, accurate, easy to get the target, even though it's only got one one uh, side at the front. What we pointed at it, it blew up. Yeah, so, word, did it ever. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the clay uh, shooting was accurate. I cannot fault the accuracy on it and the smoothness. Um, yeah, I just liked it. The, um, the only thing I don't really like is the look of this here. Um, of the guard, yeah, that looks yeah, but you know, transformery to me. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, nice, yeah, it um, functioned. Didn't even miss one, not one hiccup at all. Mm. The whole yeah, thing. It, it just ran. Um, yeah. Reliability-wise, this thing ate everything we threw at it. It didn't fit five three-inch magnum shells in it. No, that was um, it. yeah, only problem. Yeah, that was. But I mean, you really don't want to shoot more than one of those anyway. <laughs> so two, yeah. the, the butt pad on this is a lot thinner than another one. It's only about three quarters of an inch thick, and it's a very light gun. So when you yeah. shoot a big heavy load through it, you do feel it. Exactly, exactly. Um, but advantages: the lever on this is just really light. Oh, um, it's, it's out of out of this gun, the eighty-seven, the Partis, the yeah. Adler. This one just has the smoothest out of the box action. Um, if you, um, you know, if you're a bit arthritic or something like that, uh, and you get a bit on in years, um, or you had a big night on the piss beforehand and you get gout, <laughs> it's, this is a, um, you know, a really nice lever. It just, it's, it functions. I don't want to call it smooth. Um, well, it's smoothish. It's smooth when you compare it to other shotguns yeah. in the same category, um, but it's not smooth when you compare it to like a, a yeah, 3030 so or a 44 or, or even the 87 is um is just slick yeah, as they come it's but that's a different class yeah to, to this you know this if you compare an apples to apples every other shotgun in its price range this has definitely got the smoothest functioning lever on it yeah, i exactly. really like this one and with that 28 inch barrel on it um we were just having a dick around like with the slugs now well you saw the slugs on the steel target yeah. earlier yeah um it just rings them in there um it's really accurate it's the most accurate shock on all the shot exactly yeah. and it held together it didn't fall apart which is always a bonus yep it, it um, did like to be honest when it came out of the box i didn't have high expectations no, for it neither it, did I. it looked cheap um it felt really light and cheap um but it just mm. i wanted to not like this shotgun yeah but i I can't fault it. I... Yeah, exactly. The accuracy and not everything came out of it. Every yeah. spent shell, everything. We had no Didn't problem. have a single hang up with it. Yeah, 
nothing whatsoever. So we're, um, yeah, I'm actually very, very pleasantly surprised by this. Yeah. And I, yeah, I quite like it actually. I, yep. I like it. Um, it's. It doesn't look as as great as the other ones, but hey, when you're chasing pegs and that through bush, um, you know, mm. it's not a beauty contest. Yeah, so. and even if you wanted to take this, if you're a duck shooter down south, this would be brilliant on ducks. Yeah. Like, it, it really would. It's just, it points so well. Yeah. Um, and, like, we were throwing, like, double clays and getting double clays with it. Like, you can get, you know, those yeah. two, three, four, five shots away, like, yeah. really quickly with it. Um, it was just a brilliant yeah. shotgun. This one um, also comes with a dovetail on it, so you can clamp, um, just like oh, the Adler I've got, just clamped on the... Uh, Blackatinny rail, yep. Um, so that worked well. So it's got that on there already. But we were using it just with the front sight, and that was accurate. Yep. Uh, you wouldn't even need a sight, I don't think. Yep. And if this one was a lone gun, um, yep. so it is going back to the um, shop that lent it to us. Um, so if you buy the one with the registration number UZ15-4186. You've had the one that we tested, and it has our thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, great shotty. Thanks very much to Pro Tactical for yeah. um, inviting us to uh, demonstrate it. Yeah. We had a great time with this shotgun. Um, yeah. Like I said at the start, I didn't want to like it, and I ended up liking it basically straight away. Like yeah. it just cycles well, points well, shoots well, functions nice. well. Um, this is the first cheap shotgun that I've had out of the box. That just worked flawlessly without a single issue. Yeah. And also, I'd like to thank Pro Tactical for the ammo for the uh, review as well. It was as good of them to give us the ammo. Yep. And, um, it was just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy with it. And I'd recommend this to people, that's for sure. Yeah. One thing I would point out um, just because it's got a three inch chamber, doesn't necessarily mean you want to shoot the three inch shells out yeah. of it. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, and, and if you're going to shoot it, a ton of that, which you probably wouldn't. Uh, it could rattle everything inside. Yeah, I uh, would, and I would definitely recommend fitting an extra buck pad on there because it, it does kick quite a bit. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. But the, the standard double O buck is out of it, no way you yeah. don't feel it. But them, yeah, them big three inch shells. Whew. We had no feeding issues, nothing yeah. at all with us. Everything that went into it fed perfect. Yeah. So yeah. these are available um, anywhere that stocks pro tactical um, stuff. Yep. We'll be able to get one of these in for you. Um, they're under the grand mark most places. They're yeah. around the nine fifty to a thousand dollars in there. Um, you and pick, yeah, I reckon it's worth the money. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bat an eyelid at paying that for that shotgun. Like, no. yeah, it's not the best finished shotgun in the world. Doesn't marry up perfectly. But um, it does the job. But oh shit, yeah, it does the job. And repeatedly too. Yeah, I mean we we had minor minor issues with the Partis. We've had few issues with the Adler. Yeah. Um, yeah. Both of them work fine now. We've rectified mm. those problems. This one, not a drama out of the box. Yeah. Other than pinching your finger, yeah, that's the only thing. It yeah, does, just the loading not, gate there likes to likes to yeah. get a hold of your finger gets, if you're not careful. Gets a bit hungry, so yeah. yeah. Um, but other other than that, good shot. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Cool. Thank, thank Thanks thank very much, shooters. Thank you.
It was cool.